Hi, Loretta. Anthony Song. <laughs> <laughs> Loretta, you know something? We're connected. I'm going to have we connected. <laughs> you told me this story one time when you and Henry got married, right? That you didn't know how to pronounce the last. Well, you, uh, anyway, yes. you, you, when you went to the, the registrar, or whatever, you, whatever they go to, right? Now, tell, tell us that story. Tell me that story. When the clerk asked Henry what was his name, he said Henry Dumas. Mm -hmm. And I had been thinking Henry Dumas. Like Edward did Henry Dumas with the S, yes. Yes. Now, since you told me that story, I always say Henry Dumas. Right? Me too. Me too. And, and then when you when you when you answer your when you're answering your phone, you say the same thing. Like yes. That. So that's our connection. You, me, and Henry, we we pronounce the name correctly, the French way, right? Okay. Now, now um, just to you know, everybody, most people know Henry as a, as a poet. So can we start with that? Now this first thing that you have here, what's this? Let me just put just put the thing up. This is the original volume that they put out uh, from uh, from the, what, what university was that? Southern Illinois University Press. All right, so it's Henry Dub Poetry for My People. Yes. It's a preface by Amamu and Mary Baraka. Yes. Um, and Leroy Jones. And uh, because Leroy, well, uh, uh, Larry Neal, and then we can put it back on if you want to. It's the picture in the back. Oh, that's the same. Oh, that's the original picture. It's a very rare picture that people don't sh show, you know. Mm -hmm. So this is the hawk But now to read this, now you see they have, um, they have a, 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 a Baraka in there because they were all in this circle of, of uh, they call the Black Arts Movement. Right. Larry Neal brought everybody together, you know. So I would just like you, there's a, there's a poem that I particularly liked. I didn't realize it was so well liked. And I call it, we have a movement now going called uh, ADOS. American Descendants of Chattel Slavery, or American Descendants of Slavery, uh, the institution. And, 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 and I looked at, I had performed this poem um, in the early 80s, um, and it's my, it's my favorite poem, called Root Song. And now you told me that this song, and this, well, let's, let's just do a little bit of the poem, then we'll, let's say, you, if you do the first stanza, I'll try to do the, the second one. Root Song. Once when I was tree, flesh came and worshipped at my roots. My ancestors slept in my outstretched limbs and listened to flesh praying and entreating on his knees. Once when I was free, African sun woke me up green at dawn. African wind combed the branches of my hair. African rain washed my limbs. African soil nourished my spirit. African moon watched over me at night. Once when I was treat, flesh came to sacrifice at my foot. Flesh came to preserve my voice. Flesh came honoring my limbs as drums, as canoes, as masks, as cathedrals and temples of the ancestor gods. Now flesh comes with metal teeth with chopping sticks and fire launches and flesh cuts me down and enslaves my limbs to make forts, ships, pews for other gods, stockades, flesh pens, and crosses hung high to sacrifice gods. Now flesh laughs at my charred and beaten frame, discarding me in the mud, burning me up in flames. Now flesh listens no more to the voice of the spirits talking through my limbs. Flesh has grown dull at the ears now. Flesh has grown pale and lazy. Flesh has sinned against the fathers. If flesh would listen, I would warn him that the spirits are displeased and are planning what to do with him. But flesh thinks I am dead, charred, and gone. Flesh thinks that by fire he can kill, thinks that with metal teeth I die, thinks that chaining me in alien temples with new guards carved upon my skin, thinks that all the voices linked from root to limb are silence, thinks that by cutting me down, I will sing and dance no more. But flesh is lazy and clogged with fat. Flesh does not know that he did not give me life, nor can he take it away. That is what the spirits are singing now, 
it is time that flesh bow down on his knee again. Amazing poem. Amazing poem. But you, I, 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 I somehow was in the way, way in the back of my mind because I wasn't. Uh, that's all right. It's way, way in the back of my mind. But there's a, a, a Black Panther. That this is a. Oh, this is the one. Oh, Tanaji Coates, Brian Selfrey, and Laura Martin. Uh, episode. Oh, strangely enough, not strangely enough. It's a. Uh, it's um three. This is the. This is the cover here. Now, this poem is in. This starts the poem. This this poem starts this. Um, and I see they they gave you credit because you know you along with Eugene B. Redmond are the executives of the state, so they gave you, you gave them permission mm -hmm. to put this in it. So this is where the hope, the poem is laid out. Uh, and these pages, did they do the whole poem? I guess they did. I believe they did. Uh, did well, it was, I don't think they did the whole poem, because it sounds, this just looks a little, anyway, the point is, it's, it's, it was in Black Panther, and as you know, interestingly enough, you know, Black Panther just made a, a film, big, big time film out of it. Yes. Uh, uh, I guess they didn't use that. Have they? Well, I want to deal with that. But um, it seems to me that Black Panther is what we call an intergenerational kind of thing. It was a phenomenon yes. that brought a, a, a lot of, uh, let's say, black folks together. Right. The only other inter, inter, intergenerational thing to me, with, with male, female, you know, with women, children, was actually the, the election of Barack Obama. Right? If you want to put put it that way, you see. Kind of yeah. But there's a movement that's happening now called ADOS. The American descendants of slavery, slavery being the institution, and that also is an intergenerational movement. It's very interesting to me, and I insist that Root Song is in that tradition. It's almost like, to me, it's the it's the poem of that of that movement of that I call it reality. Okay. Anyway, so I don't know if you know about that. I don't want to really get into that, but just tell me, uh, is, you, we had talked. You said that Root Song was one of your favorites. I mean, what what, what are your well. Because it it tells a story and a, a relevant story. Um, I'm kind of on the spot to explain why I like it, but um, it has a beautiful sound to it. Mm. Last summer, um, down in Arkansas, we had a program and we called it Root Song, you know, based on the poem, of course. And um, just the idea of, of someone thinking of their roots. To me, it brings up so many thoughts of who we are, and I don't just mean who we are as people of color, but just who anybody is, your roots. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't want to torture you or anything like that, but I wanted to show that you know, I wanted to show the original uh, book that it came out in, and then of course the, the, the I was reading from uh, Play Ebony, Play Ivory. And then there's a third book, uh, Knees of a Natural Man. Oh yeah, yeah, I have that one too. But that, to me, yeah, yeah, I got, yeah, yeah. I have, I have and that. And that will be coming out again. Too. Again? Yes. Well, who's very putting soon. it out? Who's putting it out? I'm sorry, I forget. Oh, it's, okay. Well, hey. But very soon. But Henry's all over. The, but uh, 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 at another point, I want to talk about the writings. Not now, not today. I'm gonna, I'm let you off the hook now. Okay. Right, another time, I'm gonna come down. I'm in, I'm in town or around okay. like that, and we want to really talk about. Um, I want to just say it right now. We want to talk about his short stories. It's put out in the original run. I saw was a uh, Rope of Wind, uh, and other stories, right? And I said. It's amazing because right now science fiction or whatever we're going to put or comic books whatever is at the fore, but to me, Henry was a science fiction writer. Mm -hmm. He, he coded it was the, the Black Arts Movement, yeah, but but those principles were coded in in, in his writings as science fiction, mm -hmm. you know. And one 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 thing I want to okay, we laughed about this because when I wrote this when I. When I met you years ago, and, and I was looking, I, I said to you, that story, uh, that story where they called the room, room, room. I said, is that about the Kirby vacuum cleaner man? Or what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Come on, tell me. I don't remember. No, you said yes. There was oh, the, the guy oh, came oh, to your okay. house. Yes, yes, yes. Of the guy came to your yes, house. Yes, and, and sold us something that we neither wanted nor needed. <laughs> but we were takers. He was an excellent salesperson, but. Henry wrote that story to make it right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it sounds like a science fiction story. Now, I want to I want to end here, but just do you um, just tell us just a little bit about um, just the, the, when when you 
you witness his writing, you know, yes. his, his writing. Yes. You, you had to be there. Absolutely. I yes. always say, um, like for instance, in this movement, this AJOS movement, there's they, they cite, well, Dr. Sandy Darity, who's worked on reparations for years and years. I always say, said Dr. Sandy Darity and his wife. That's what I always put them together because you can't. Mm -hmm. It's something that happens there. So we 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 have this male female principle with that, and then the two progenitors are uh, Yvette or Cornell and this guy attorney uh, um, um, Antonio Moore. He's in California. She's in she's in um, in Georgia. They they're not a couple, but they're getting still these are, these are two progenitors of the movement. So therefore, we have that female male female principle again. And I'm looking at this movement. This is a really interesting. You you you've you've been on the planet for quite a while. You've witnessed a lot of movements. <laughs> Have you seen this kind of dual male female equal equality kind of thing happening in any movement that you can think of? I haven't really thought about it to be mm. quite honest, mm. um, but I know it exists, mm. um, even if it's not acknowledged. Unless co equal as well. well we can sit there. So, any, any, anything you'd like to say? Or ask? Oh, you're supposed to ask me about myself, but I will wait. We'll yeah. turn the camera off there. But, yeah. but anything you want to um, talk about? At the moment, I um, don't have any comment. Well, well, thank you so much just for doing Roots on for us. <laughs> My pleasure.